gun control remains ignored by President Trump and GOP leaders. But why? Gun control remains ignored by President Trump and GOP leaders. But why? Thank you for tuning in to Laurel with the Black Political Buzz Network. On yesterday, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2018, our nation was once again struck by another evil, senseless, very senseless act of a mass shooting in which more innocent human beings were killed, murdered by another mass shooter who just happened to possess or gain possession of a high-powered rifle, a high-powered rifle, an AR-15, a military-style, you know, weapon that can uh, kill a lot of human beings in a very span, short span of time. An AR-15 rifle can kill a lot of human beings in a very short span of time. And this time, the act of evil was committed by a 19-year-old, you know, a um, young man named Nicholas Cruz. And he wasn't mentally ill. He was evil. And he wasn't working alone. I will stand by my, I will stand by that and continue to say he was not working alone. And I'm glad that the uh, police did not kill him. He was arrested alive so he can be questioned as to who motivated him and who, and who influenced him to commit such evil act. I do not believe a 19-year-old did that all on his own. Even, even if he was mentally ill, even if he, if he was mentally ill, he didn't do that on his own. He was influenced and he worked with someone. That was a conspiracy. And that's why I'm very, very pleased at how it was handled by the law enforcement officials in Parkland, Florida, where this um, you know, a massacre took place, that this Nicholas Cruz young man was taken alive so he can be questioned as to whom he was working with and who influenced him and who gave him the money to buy that rifle. But in all of this, President Trump today delivered a speech. He delivered a speech to the nation to address this massacre that took place yesterday, Valentine's Day, 2018. But he didn't mention gun control at all. And I'm just puzzled as to why not. We had another massacre last year in Las Vegas. In 2017, Las Vegas. Uh, more than 50 people were murdered in another mass shooting. Yet, no mention of gun control. Now, I posted a previous video in which I stated very plain and clearly that I am, you know, I support Second Amendment rights. I support Second Amendment rights. I am not opposed to Second Amendment rights. However, I am opposed to mass shootings. I am opposed to mass shootings in which many, many human lives are, you know, snuffed out because of somebody who's angry or crazy. Yet, no mention of gun control by the GOP leaders in Congress. And I'm not speaking of, once again, I am not referring to the federal government releasing our U.S. military into American society to go out there and round up everybody's weapons. I am not suggesting that. I'm not implying that at all. I'm not alluding to that. I, I, that's not realistic. So I'm not suggesting that our elected officials or our federal officials release the military to go out into 21st century American society and round up everybody's weapons. I'm not suggesting that at all. But I'm not suggesting that nothing be done. I'm not suggesting that we just sit back and do nothing but have a talk about it and discuss it in the media until the next incident like this occurs. Something must be done. There has to be some form of gun control and not just background checks. I repeat, background checks are not enough or not enough.
Something has to be done. And I don't know why President Trump today in his speech when addressing the nation after yet another massacre, shooting, tragedy occurred, why he didn't mention some form of gun control. And when are the GOP leaders going to see that this is not acceptable? It's not, it's not normal. We are the only country on planet Earth that continues to have one mass school shooting after another. I repeat, the, the USA, the great nation of America, the beacon on the hill of human rights, we're the only country on planet Earth that continues to have one mass shooting in public schools after another. They don't have this in Europe. They don't have it in Africa. They don't have it in Asia. Just America, North America, where we live. We, this is North America. But yet we don't want to mention gun control. Gun control can be legislated without violating anyone's Second Amendment rights. I repeat, gun control can be legislated and enacted by the federal government without violating any individual Second Amendment rights. And it must be done. How Are we bloodthirsty? Are we that bloodthirsty as a country? Are we this... You know, insensitive as a country, as a nation, is America, is America this bloodthirsty? Well, we don't even care about human life because we want to protect Second Amendment rights. So we say anyway. And don't want to enact some form of gun control and not just in the form of some lame background checks. Is America just this insensitive to mass murders? Are the members of Congress, especially our GOP leaders, and I'm not against the GOP. I am not anti-GOP, but I am in support of human life. Are we this, you know, cold-hearted as a nation that we think it's more important to be, you know, to, to support a political agenda than protecting human rights in the form of gun control? Some kind of gun, con gun control, some uh, type of gun control is better than none at all. President Trump, GOP leaders, you say you care about us. We elected you into office. The American people put you in office. You say you care about us, right? So you want to protect us. Why are you against some kind, some type of gun control, some kind of gun control and background checks is not enough. Like I said earlier in this video, in a previous video, I am not suggesting that our military be released to go out and round up everyone's weapons. I am not suggesting that our second, second amendment rights be violated, but we do need some kind of gun control and background checks is not enough. Gun control remains ignored by President Trump and GOP leaders. But why? How many more people have to die before the GOP says, okay, we will legislate, we will enact some form of gun control in the USA? Thank you for tuning into Laurel with the Black Political Buzz. God help us all. Goodbye.